some velocity if I've seen this I'm ever bad. <laughs> hey, 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 this is Benoit here and on today's episode, we're gonna have a look here. If uh, the AR500 by Can Armor versus the stainless steel plate, okay? Now keep in mind this video is sponsored by Can Armor, Canadian Armor Limited, but we just call them Can Armor, right? So this is the one that we got here today, guys. Have a look at this beautiful plate here. It's got the Linex coating on it. So we're we're gonna we're gonna shoot it here with uh, with my good old SKS A762 by 39. There, it's gonna be some FMJs, armor piercing rounds. So we're gonna have a look. I I know it's ain't gonna do crap to it, but what we want to see is if that stainless over there, you know, is it worth buying a plate or can you just put a chunk of steel? in your vest hey we're gonna find that out today keep in mind this plate is half the thickness of that stainless steel over there okay and uh yeah so so we're gonna shoot it here guys and we're gonna have a look at the damage it does and keep in mind here can armor beautiful product this is what i personally wear under my vest because i can trust when it's made in canada Okay, you guys know, Canadians, we make things tough, we're reliable and dependable. You betcha. Okay, so this is our stainless, guys. Like I said, it's twice the thickness. However, it does not have a curve, right? So if you would want to use, you know, just a chunk of steel and curve it yourself, if, if you can't afford a nice quality Canadian-made AR500, well, yeah, you're gonna have to heat it up, guys, and probably requinch it and all of that, right? So, so this unit here, and we put an angle on it, okay? Now, if you're gonna do some tests at home, be responsible, put a downward angle, because you don't want that coming back, hitting you in the head. It's gonna hurt, man. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's go and uh, check it out here and see, see what happens to it, you know? I'm pretty confident the AR500 is a lot better than just your stainless steel chunk, but this is why we do the test, guys. You betcha. Okay, 762 by 39. These are cheap Chinese FMJs, okay? So this is what we're gonna be shooting here and it's at 50 yards we're doing our test. Okay guys, let's have a look at the AR500. Alright guys, the FMJ on the AR500, eh? Not a scratch, but this Linex though, it came off, which you know, it's it, this here, if you guys can see this here, this is definitely gonna catch the shrapnel so it doesn't go in your neck. You see what I'm saying? But keep in mind, it is really cold right now, okay? Look at my hands, they're red. It's like minus 20 out here in Canada. So in the, in, in the hot, I'm assuming it's gonna be more of a rubber substance. But still, very impressive for this level four here with the FMJs. Those are armor piercing rounds. It, not a dent, look at this, smooth. Not a dent, beautiful. Okay, so let's move on to the stainless here. That's, I think it's more than twice as thick. I'm pretty sure those FMJs are gonna poke and make some damage in that stainless. But let's find out. I think it's gonna make a nice dent. But we're about to find out, guys. Whoa, yeah, baby! Wow. They did a lot of damage, that little FMJ, okay? And like I said, this is... That this is a thick plate, but anyways, I got this little stick here. Okay, we're gonna shove it in that hole and have a look how far it went. It didn't go through, but damn near. See, that's a quarter inch. That's a quarter inch. So this plate is quite thick and it, it damaged really, really bad. And not a scratch on the AR500. To be honest with you, this chunk of steel here is twice the weight. So there's a reason why you want to invest in a beautiful Canadian product. You know it's going to be reliable. 
but uh, we're gonna step it up to a knot here and we're gonna shoot it with the uh, 30 out six, which the AR500 there is, is a level four. It's rated to be proof 30 out six. Let's have a look and then we're gonna come back and shoot this puppy, which at this point, I am guaranteed that the 30 out six is gonna go right through this chunk of stainless here. It's a guarantee it, okay, no doubt about it, but let's go check it out, guys. Okay, just so you guys can understand here the magnitude, okay, 30 out six. Now these are hunting rounds, okay, they're hollow point with some lead but uh, it's, it's at least twice as big, if not more. This is a very high powered rifle. And uh, okay, well, let's, let's get on with it here, guys. Whoa! Now that, <laughs> that, that was some velocity if I've seen some ever, man. <laughs> Okay guys, there is a dent in it, but it didn't go through, it didn't go through. And this came right off of it, the line X. So you can get this plate here with no line X. But anyways, we're gonna throw that over here. Let's have a look at this guys, okay? So it's a slight dent, you know, it's not, uh, this is still very functional. I, I'm assuming we can still fire at least 100 rounds of 30 out six in, in this plate. It's gonna be good for a very long time. Now in the back here, the line X, it stayed, it's stayed true, yeah. There's a slight deformation here, okay? Which is not the end of the world. But uh, yeah, okay, so we're gonna shoot the stainless. I can pretty much guarantee you at this point, it's gonna go right through that stainless like butter. But let's find out. Okay, time for the stainless. Keep in mind, that chunk of stainless is heat treated, okay? And uh, yeah, good luck for that stainless. <laughs> Oh yeah, right through. See that daylight? That's what I thought. Okay, that puppy went clean through, guys. Okay, this is tempered stainless steel. And uh, there's a reason. There's a reason why you gotta get yourself a nice plate. Cause it's not just your typical metal, okay? Okay guys, this concludes our test here. AR500 by Can Armor versus Tempered Stainless, okay? It's pretty evident here. And the weight, this, this is just much, much lighter. It's pretty evident you just gotta go with these guys here. The link's gonna be in below here if you guys wanna order yourself a plate here from Can Armor. Personally, this is what I rock. And uh, yeah, and don't forget to grab one of these pads here, okay? For the back, you slide it out back here. That way if you do get shot, then you know, you're not gonna have all that vibration, right? Break your ribs. Okay guys, thanks, subscribe. Please let us know what you think in the comments down below. Have a good day.